Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Isaac and today we're going to be building a function that will go through a sentence and it will find the word that has the largest number of common letters. Uh, so for example, uh, the word door uh, will have uh, more common letters than the word dog. Let's get started. First we need to uh, declare a function name. Let's call it letter count. Then we're going to pass in a parameter and this is going to uh, represent the, the sentence that uh, the user will pass in. Uh, next, we are going to uh, declare a variable x. And x is going to be equal to uh, the string we pass in. Then we're going to use the dot split method on it and uh, split it by its um, spaces. So because each word in a sentence has a space, uh, now it's going to make it to where each word has its own set of quotations. Uh, from here, let's create another variable, and let's call it count, and it'll be equal to zero. And the reason being is we're going to use count uh, to increment uh, the number of common letters we find by one each time uh, when they are found. So um, let's go ahead and uh, start searching for those uh, common letters. Um, we'll create a for loop. And uh, this for loop is uh, basically going to loop through each word. So um, we'll make i less than uh, x dot length, and we'll increment by one each time. Okay. Um, so now we're looping through each word. We need to peel a few more layers back uh, to get down to each letter, so we can start uh, putting them side by side. Um, so let's create a variable um, called word. It'll be equal to uh, x at the index of i. And then um, let's create uh, another for loop. And uh, this for loop is going to go through each letter now. Um, so we'll make uh, j less than word.length. And we're going to increment by 1 each time. All right. Um, so now uh, we need to compare everything. So we're. Uh, going to uh, create another variable, a letter, and a letter will be equal to, uh, let's make it a word at the index of j. And uh, from here, we need to uh, create one more for loop, and uh, this one's going to uh, go through and uh, single out every single uh, letter individually for us. Um, so we'll say k equals zero, uh, k is less than uh, word.length, and uh, we'll increment k by 1 each time. Okay, so um, let's go ahead, and uh, now that we are uh, got down to uh, each letter individually, let's make a couple of conditional statements um, for different scenarios. Um, so the first one is if uh, j uh, does not equal uh, k, and then uh, we'll run another one that says um, if uh, letter is equal to uh, word, the index of k, then we're going to make uh, count equal to uh, count plus 1. And that's where the uh, incrementing comes in that we were talking about a minute ago. Um, so um, now we need to create a, another conditional statement. Basically, um, if the sentence passed in uh, does not have a word that contains more common letters than another word. So for example, uh, cat and dog. Uh, there are no uh, words that supersede the others in uh, length of common letters. So we need to create an if statement for that scenario. So we'll just say uh, if count is uh, greater than 1, um, then we're going to uh, return word. And uh, we'll also return negative 1 in the instance that there is no word with more common letters than the others. So uh, last, let's go ahead and console log the result. And uh, let's see, for the string uh, sentence, let's go ahead and pass in um, door and dog. So we know it should be uh, printing out uh, door for us. OK, let's save this and go over to our browser. When we hit refresh, uh, as you can see, it's rendered a uh, door for us. 
uh, due to the fact that door had two O's and uh, the dog only had one. So um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. Uh, thank you for taking the time to watch.